Poison Girl. Then I put on Hypnotic Poison. I got boxes falling all over the place. I'm not talking about the charcoal you put on the grill and you know you get your hot dog. Like, no, not that. Funny, but no. Hey guys, just here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be sharing with you guys two fragrance layering combinations. So I actually have been seeing these types of videos across the YouTube sphere. Just Kayla Michelle, Jasmine Bullard, and amongst a few others. For those of you that are already a part of the family, I'd like to thank you very much. However, if you are not, what you doing? Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell as well. So without further ado, I will not hold you any longer. I actually came out with a video that was kind of similar a couple months ago. I didn't really see these types of videos out last fall and I'll link it in the top right Sit called Scent Combinations. I just had the name differently. I never really did another video like that until now. I'm not saying I've invented it or anything like that because there's nothing new underneath the sun. The first fragrance combination, and this is something I've been doing whenever I wear these types of products for the last couple of weeks. So Christian Dior has a line of perfume called Poison, and there's different variations. I sometimes combine together Poison Girl and Hypnotic Poison. For Poison Girl, it's a more floral type of perfume. So they're the the all the perfume from Christian Dior and the perfume oil from Sweet Essentials, they're exact two opposites when it comes to their smell as to what I'm picking up. What I do is, since Poison Girl is floral and Hypnotic Poison is more sweet, that's what I kept seeing on the reviews, online long before I decided okay I'm going to purchase this and try this out hypnotic poison is very is is sweet 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 almost sickening sweet so to balance them out I first put on poison girl then I put on hypnotic poison I got boxes falling all over the place that's what I do now there's sometimes where I'll interchangeably go in with the hypnotic poison first and then the poison girl un momento but ultimately that's basically how i use these two perfumes and they're both are the perfumes so that means that's one of the highest concentrations that i know of at least of a fragrance I didn't really notice the difference between me using Poison Girl first and then Hypnotic Poison second and then using it in the opposite instance, which I've done before. I just know that they work well together because Poison Girl, to me, is a lot more floral. But you got to be careful with them couple sprays because you're going to wind up sneezing all over the place. And Hypnotic Poison, is it's, they weren't kidding. That smells very very sweet smelling so when you have something sweet smelling and you have something floral smelling it needs a balance and it needs to be balanced out when you have something sweet smelling and you have something floral smelling it needs a balance and it needs to be balanced out so i just started thinking and then one day i was just putting on the perfume before i before heading out and i said why not and it worked i could still catch hints of both the poison girl and the hypnotic poison but it was like they were combined together it works so well together no matter which one you use first a floral fragrance needs something sweet to balance it out a sweet fragrance needs something floral to balance it out that way you it, it's not overpowering it's not for those of you who have sinus issues and and your sinuses are quite sensitive 
that will provide a little extra layer of comfort and convenience for you. That's just my opinion. Next and last <laughs> fragrance combination, because this is just my first video of getting into everything, is Amber Romance from Sweet Essentials. You can also substitute with Victoria's Secret's Amber Romance. And from another from Christian Dior. I've not tried the auto perfume yet, but shall. J'adore. So what I noticed with Amber Romance, that's overall always been a very sweet note. That, that's the sweeter of the two. Now when it comes to J'adore, and I'm just spraying it out. That one is that that one is the floor more floral one of the bunch. So when I am putting these two together, because I've done I've done this before, that just makes it more of a light feminine scent where it's not so heavy and it's just balancing its each other out, which leads to my point. I think the beauty of fragrance layering combinations to basically layer your fragrances together regardless of concentration, all the perfume, all the toilet, because they all, those names indicate there's different types of strengths. The beauty of it is that you get to combine them together. You get to witness what they're, how they're going to react and respond to your body chemistry and also how they're going to cooperate with the other fragrance you decide to layer with. That's one of the best things ever. Now, when it comes to fragrance layering outside of just fragrances alone, the Caress, the Charcoal, and Pink Lotus Body Wash, I combine that with the Yardley's Activated Charcoal, and then I finish it off with Christian Dior's, the perfume oil version from Sweet Essentials, the Midnight Poison, that seemed to make the most sense. It works well together. That That is one fragrance layering combination, regardless of product type in body care, that also works well together. Charcoal and then a scent like Midnight Poison, and I'll put it on the screen, that works well together. I don't know what it is about it. I don't know whether it's the notes or the name and then the smell of charcoal where it's not overpowering. I'm not talking about the charcoal you put on the grill and you know, you get your hot dog. It, no, not that. Funny, but no. <laughs> that works well together as well. With me doing these fragrance combinations, it's just letting me know that I've always done this. The thing now is to just keep track of everything so I can share it with you all. Anything body care. If there is anything body care related, including fragrances that you'd like to combine together and they work well together for your body chemistry, please feel free to share in the comments below. Now that we're documenting it, that means the fun begins. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my only two for now fragrance layering combinations and until next time and until the next video Brrr!